How did the uh, futsal uh, championship uh, start off? No, actually, uh, futsal championship uh, started off uh, with a quick decision because we were planning to start futsal in uh, with a proper organization in Goa since uh, last six, almost six months after the premier futsal. Uh, but uh, what happened? We couldn't get a good team with uh, like minds. But suddenly it happened like we met Mr. Shirgaonkar and whatever uh, good team what we had stood up and thought of starting the association. So this championship is actually a launch event of our association and it's giving really good results. What were the obstacles uh, you had in getting the 16 teams together? Actually not much of obstacles. Uh, we had uh, already boys playing uh, for their clubs. Uh, so what we did is uh, we just selected uh, the best eight teams from north and eight teams from south, and uh, that's it. Not much of obstacles. And the referees, uh, you have certified referees. So in the coming uh, months or the coming uh, days ahead, are you going to have uh, more camps such as uh, referees camp or referees training camp? What yes, definitely. Plans? That is the core of this uh, futsal uh, uh, association to develop referees because. You need really uh, pinpointing, uh, pinpoint refereeing because uh, uh, refereeing is really it takes the it gives a pace to the match as well as uh, players can control on their game. So we are planning to have uh, uh, very soon uh, a referee uh, course, especially for our grown referees, and then we'll take it from there. And how do you plan to take this to the schools and develop it at grassroots level? Again, that is one of the core uh, um, initiative that we'll take is to go through schools and uh, start developing the skills of our grassroots because that will give better results for our football in the coming future. Your expectations before the championship kicked off, you must have had some kind of expectations. But having gone through these past three days and today the semi-finals, uh, has it been up to your expectations or is above your expectations? It is really above my expectation because I thought like uh, uh, the futsal uh, what our boys play is more of football but looking at the instruction what we gave in uh, uh, the playing strategies and all that they have really picked up with the, uh, the things and we, we hope to have a good team in the coming future. That's not something that's difficult to build up. On. Lastly, uh, would you all be looking at having your own indoor stadium for Kuchal? Oh, that's uh, one in something in the plan, but uh, it, it, it needs a lot of uh, financial uh, uh, structure. But uh, we'll definitely try to have. But we'll utilize uh, whatever government support we get from SAG and uh, Director of Youth and Sports Affairs. And the last announcement, the last announcement that was made that uh, participants from at this tournament will be selected for the nationals. Uh, with this kind of uh, talent, can the uh, next generation or the next futsal uh, generation look forward to something bigger on, on a global platform? Uh, yes. Yeah, see, with this tournament, uh, we started actually for the selections of uh, nationals coming in December. Uh, looking at the tunnel sorry talent what we have right now uh, we are on a good level compared with any other states in India but uh, looking at the global uh, scenario uh, we need to we need to look at least for five years from here to compete on the international level uh, best wishes and uh, thank you so much for giving us your time thank you